slip that one away down towards uh, fine leg and uh, it will get to the boundary but he's decided to have a go there despite the fact that they've set the trap for him it's uh, pretty aggressive in his attitude three for 154. He smashed that and it's going away down towards uh, the boundary there. It was in the air. I don't think uh, Gow would even be aware that uh, lunch was due. He's uh, just leant back and smashed it over the top. The best thing Gooch could do <laughs> would be to get down that end and hang in there. Certainly hard to pin down. He's got his own method. He's had a go at this one. He's going to be out. Last ball before lunch. They've got him in the trap. He's out. Would you believe it? David Gower, the last ball before the lunch break. He smacked it straight down Merv Hughes's throat. And the little trap that has been set for him has worked. That is the end of David Gower. A real danger man in circumstances like this. Gooch cannot believe it. He's still standing out in the centre. Almost as if to say, I cannot believe it's happened. He's leaving his gloves out there. What do you reckon, Bill Lurie? Well, it's ridiculous, isn't it? The top class player who scored over 8,000 runs would fall for that. The boy in the park wouldn't fall for that. His trap was set. One ball to go. One o'clock had already ticked over on the clock. And Gooch would be a very angry captain. And that's terrible cricket from a fine player. Dermot's not unhappy about it. He's got his third wicket. It's four for 160. He's a, a very good player.